Hello Pisces and welcome. This is SJ at Infinite Fire Readings. Thank you so much for being here. If you are new to my channel, I do manifestation with tarot. I look at any blockages that come up in the cards and dissolving these so that you can ideally continue to move successfully towards your manifestations and life's creations. That is my intention. Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be looking at the general energies. Please also like and subscribe if you haven't already. It really supports my channel. It really helps me grow. Um, yeah, helps me grow. So thank you so much for your support. Also means that you get to keep up to date with all the card readings. So win, win, win. Yeah. Uh, keep in mind as well, this reading is for your entertainment. So take what resonates throw away the rest. These are just cards. Free will comes first. That's how it works. Your reality, your life, your creations. So we'll jump on into it for you. These are the wild unknown tarot. <sighs> we have the high priestess and the ten of swords. Maybe trusting your intuition about releasing old thoughts and ways of being that are dead, done, no longer serve you interesting the wheel of fortune and the ten of swords i think you know that there are good things awaiting you if and when you release these negative or unnecessary thoughts and ways of being we'll give it one more shuffle and we'll jump on into it for you pisces my perfect piscerians let's jump on in Nine of Cups and the Mother of Cups. <laughs> Wish fulfillment, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. That's you. Being emotionally receptive to your wish coming true. I like seeing all of that energy on the board. Okay, Pisces. Let's do it. What's the energy? All right, first card out. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Maybe not feeling like you've reaped the rewards from some kind of physical 3D situation. Maybe not feeling like you're putting in the work. Maybe not feeling, maybe feeling like a bit of a combo of that really. Let's see what else. That's quite sideways. Five of Swords. It's funny, sideways it's completely chopping this worm in half. I'm almost feeling like righteousness here. Though Five of Swords is regarding conflict. It's being right, it's being victorious, so it's at a cost. You've won the battle, but you've chopped their arms off. And so you're not as popular as you used to be because you kind of injured everyone. It's interesting here. It's leaning sideways. It's either moving towards sort of saying it how it is or moving away from saying it how it is. The, the sword is pointing in the upward direction. So I feel like maybe you have either cut ties or cut something off or cut something in half. Death card. Yeah, okay. Could be some kind of transition, transformation that's happening here. All of your cards are black and white at the moment, by the way, which is quite interesting. Death is card of Scorpio. So could be dealing with the Scorpio. Though it's also to do with endings and beginnings. The phoenix dies and is reborn from its ashes. We have the eight of... Swords in the upright. I think that's absolutely what's happening. I think you are being reborn somehow. Eight of Swords, the first bit of color in your reading, and it's a butterfly kind of coming out of a cocoon. So you're emerging into this new version of thoughts, into a new version of yourself. Maybe not sure what thoughts are of benefit, what thoughts are not, what's in reality, what's just a fabrication needing to walk through anyway walking through the obstacles anyway what else for Pisces please hmm. 
Seven of Wands sideways, Father of Pentacles, leaning towards the upright, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So maybe there's confusion about whether or not to take a stand about something. I can see that here. Do I say how it is or do I shut up, you know? But some kind of transition, maybe wanting to hold your ground about something but not sure how to do it or if you should do it. Two sevens as well, that's both about victory, which is good. Five is about change. We have two eights here actually with death, I didn't realize that. Um, to me that's balance, harmony, in infinity. Oh, it's more than balance, six is balance, pardon me. Eight is like eternity, it can be wealth. It's being in flow as well. So it is harmony. Then the Father of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So could be releasing something to do with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could also be not feeling like the Father of Pentacles in your own life. Maybe not sure how to take a stand or not feeling like a Father of Pentacles like energy, which is someone grounded, 3D based, good with their material world perhaps isn't sort of assisting you or coming towards you. Interesting energies. On the bottom of the deck, your energy is as well coming into the situation, into the spread, the five of coins in reverse. So coming up out of a 3D situation you don't like anymore, which is good. I think that's good energy. Four of swords in the reverse, uh, taking rest as well. You could be coming out of something and taking rest at the same time. So releasing something physical and 3D, an environment, a situation, and needing to rest from that or taking that rest. Maybe looking at the past a bit with the Six of Cups, reminiscing, childhood memories, nostalgia, can be soulmate connections that you're thinking about, daydreaming as well. Five of Wands in the reverse. Releasing negative thoughts and things. Also not having hard conversations because I can see that the, the Five of Swords is here too. So this is both about sort of conflict, not so much this one, but hard conversations. Can be also mental stuff though. Daughter of Wands upright, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be wanting to deliver new messages or waiting to receive messages as well. Maybe messages of communication are flowing a little bit. Could also be dearing, de dearing, <laughs> dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with a page of Wands like energy. Did I say swords? I meant Wands uh, when I first saw this card. Very creative, entrepreneurial, though inexperienced, feminine, receptive, learning energy, the page. Could be someone younger than you. Two of swords in the reverse. Not making any decisions about a particular thing. The star card, though, focusing on the long-term goal. Card of Aquarius as well. And there it is, the ten of swords in the reverse. There it is. So, releasing something now that no longer serves you. This is good. This is a good place to be. Releasing old ways of being that do not serve you. I can see that with the death card here. I still feel like you are maybe a bit mentally lost or confused as to how to approach it. Maybe how to get into the energy that you want, not really feeling like you're doing it. Both the 3D cards, both the pentacles, the coins in your energy are in the reverse. So that's about release as far as I can see. And the one on the bottom of your deck, five, in the reverse. So releasing 3D or not knowing how to work with the 3D. In a way. Could be a lot about release though. All right. We'll give it a cut. Okay, what's advice for the Seven of Pentacles, please, for Pisces? The Queen of Coins in the reverse. If you're feeling like you're not reaping the rewards of something, and this is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again, by the way. It's funny, it's advising you to step out of the place of being a receptive queen. I think you're maybe recognizing that, it's trying to, well, how do I become an assertive king? How do I give in this world? You might need to take a break from trying to be like 
I am receptive to all the things because the way you're doing it might it might be not about that at the moment it might be about something more than that there could be self-concept stuff coming in here so release the need to be this receptive queen where all the gifts come in all the time I feel like maybe you're something's going on and I can see the mental stuff happening here where being in that frame of mind at the moment even if it's just for like five minutes or a day is affecting you adversely because there's some kind of conflicting belief perhaps that's preventing things from coming in or preventing you from reaping these rewards so let's continue on take it as it resonates throw it out if it doesn't work definitely five of cups in the reverse two fives change change is happening if you are struggling with whether to communicate a certain way or another way, there could be mental conflict as to how to approach things. Do I do it like, hey, this is what I want? Or am I like, ah, just don't say anything at all? It could be a little bit like that. The advice is the five of cups. So in the reverse, that is looking at what you have gained rather than what you have lost. So if you are in situations at the moment or having communication where there seems to be loss in that it's not what you want it's not shaping up to be how you envisioned the five of cups in the reverse is saying focus on what it does have that you like bring that to the table don't focus on the stuff you don't want focus on what it does have well at least this part's good use that in your dialogue use that in your communication it's lifting yourself back up to an appreciation of where you're at I do believe you've got to appreciate you've got to have appreciation in your space it doesn't mean you appreciate crap things it means you appreciate the good things that you like so that you can lift yourself if that makes sense I think it does what's the death card about please thank you page of swords in the reverse so this is inexperienced, feminine, receptive, learning energy. It's in the reverse as advice. So you might be going through some kind of transition at the moment. The advice is, a, 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 it can be a multitude of things. So take what works. So I feel like I don't often say it's the spying card or the stalking card, though if you are going through some kind of transition and you're checking up on line, this is to stop doing that. Stop it. It's not helping you at all. It's also you don't need new knowledge. You don't need any new facts right now. You don't have to do any research. Let the shift happen. You are capable. You are complete as you are. You are. You are complete as you are. Oh yeah, Ten of Cups, baby. This is advice. This is advice. This is not fortune. This is advice. So the advice will probably possibly put you in a place where you bring it in for yourself. In fact, it absolutely will, even if it's just in the moment. If you're walking through, if you're walking through this unknown mental territory, you're, you're turning into, you've, done, you've had the death, you've transitioned, you're cocooned, you're in your cocoon, you're growing. You're like, well, how do I manage this? This thought and that thought and this thought and that thought and this thought and that thought. Yeah, there's a lot of thoughts that we have constantly. It is a constant thing and it's constantly something that requires attention constant attention because where your intention it's in a, it's a universe has your back card where my in where my energy flow my energy flows where my intention goes and your thoughts are your intentions you think you intend to think a certain way so if you are like what thought what thought the best advice here as you navigate this unknown territory is you're like oh that thought oh no that thought it's okay Focus on having a happy union, emotional fulfillment in your life. Get into that state, 
emotionally. Yeah, it's a shortcut a little bit. It can be with a partner. It can be in your life in general. I view it as a wholesome image. I view it as definitely life in general. With this card though, there are two people on the top of the pedestal there, um, which is kind of interesting because you want to pedestal yourself in your own mind because you are the creator of your own thoughts. You're the creator of your own reality in that regard. Absolutely. Ten of Cups has two people there. So you could envision you and another or you and the job or you and the etc the house the dog if you want to get a dog the car the relationship the friendship etc the union that you see that you feel what is the feeling like when you're there what does it feel like so that can guide you is focusing on the feeling i feel good i feel happy i am so content to be in this energy because you're literally living it and the reason we focus on manifesting anything is to have the joy and presence of what it gives us in our reality now. So if you get into that state now, you have what you want. And therefore, can unfold. Though it's really about present energy. The power is in the now. Steve Aoki and Headhunters. The power of now. <laughs> it is. All right. Let's check out this seven and father. By the way, you have counterparts on the board in reverse here. I'm pretty sure Aquarius had coin counterparts as well. Actually, they had the whole coin family happening. Um, it was it was big. Mm, love it. You're not sure. You may be feeling confusion about how to get into this father of pentacles energy. I think the only confusion maybe that you're feeling is your own ability. Strength. Card of Leo. Could want to reach out to a Leo in your life. More so, it's one of the most direct meaning cards in that it means strength. Hmm? Strength. Have strength. You have strength. I have strength. I am strong. I am strong. I am strong. But I'm not strong. Pull it up. Throw it out. It's a thought. That's all that that is, is a thought. I am strong. Replant. I am strong. Replant. I am strong. Replant the garden of your mind. I am strong. You have nothing to lose by affirming that. You don't. You're either going to get strong and feel strong and become strong and resonate with strength or you're not. <laughs> but at least if you're thinking I'm strong versus I'm not strong, you feel good about yourself. Isn't that the win? Isn't that the aim? It can unfold that way. I think that is winning. Self-concept is huge. Focus on the feeling. I think I made that pretty clear. I'll draw you one more as a clarifier. Let's use the playing cards. I am vibing them at the moment. <laughs> I am. All right, Pisces. 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 Let's get you <laughs> clarifier for the strength card, please. A clarifier for the strength card, please. Thank you. <laughs> the nine of cups again. You've got the ten of cups, the nine of cups. Focus on your dream, focus on your wish, focus on what you want. If you don't think you can get it, focus on it. If you do think you can get it, focus on it. If you feel like shit, focus on it. If you feel like giving up, focus on it. Stay strong. This is your strength. There is no confusion. The confusion is the doubt. Pull it up. That's how you stay focused. That's how you achieve the strength and the wish by making it inevitable. 
that you achieve it, inevitable, by achieving it in your mind, by making it a definite, by making it destiny. That's my view on that. Let's get an angel card. I feel called to that. I am the inner strength I seek. I am the inner strength I seek. I am the wish come true. I am the wish come true. I am statements are very powerful. I am the wish come true. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I can't affirm that kind of positive talk about myself. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, you can. Self-love. Highly important to happiness. Highly important. It is the true joy. Because you are the center of the universe. I'm pretty sure the Big Bang is the center. Well, you know what? You were part of that. So, you are still the center. <laughs> that made no scientific sense. I don't even care. You are the center of the universe. You are the center of your universe. Can't get away from yourself, can you? You can't even argue that. Yes. Yes. I love this. The death card in the middle. Beginnings and endings. Endings and beginnings, right? Right in the middle. You're going through a transition. You're in the middle of a transition. I can see that. New beginnings and a fresh start. Love it. Archangel Michael cards. Thank you, Archangel Michael deck. Ah, thank you. Thank you, Archangel Michael here. My prayer. Thank you for bringing new opportunities and offering support and for helping me release and heal my past. Fill me with trust as I experience these life changes. Powerful. We're going to pull you a work your light as well. And then I'm going to unpack it further in the extended Pisces. Uh, it's at my Patreon. The link is below for my Pisarian family who are already subscribers. Thank you. I love having you as part of my Patreon family. You are a blessing in my life and I really appreciate your financial support um, and just general spiritual, emotional, mental support with my tarot career. Thank you very, very much. Uh, if you want to join in, you, when you subscribe, it's monthly. You get access to all of the extended readings for your sign if you subscribe that way. I do also have one for all star signs. You actually get a gift reading um, when you sign up that way, valued at $200. So uh, that one's $39.99 per month though, just as an FYI. Though if, and that's USD. If you subscribe, and this is at the time of making the video as well. Um, if you subscribe to my Patreon for your star sign, it costs approximately less than the price of a cup of coffee a week to support me. And you get access to all of the extenders. So I would love to see you there. All right, let's get into it. Okay, beautiful. What does Pisces need to know, please? This is the Work Your Light Oracle. What does Pisces need to know, please? And thank you. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Let's have a look. It's page 36. It's an inquiry card. 36 reduces to 9. Your guidance is divinely guided. That's, that's the saying of another card. That's interesting it's coming up here. Wow, okay. Your guidance is divinely guided. You are being called to answer the call of your soul. It might be scary. It might not make sense. But if you trust your soul's yearnings, you will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. <laughs> I question that, though, in a way of creation. <laughs> though it's good. It's a good, it's a good affirmation. It's nice. It can, be, it can be of benefit. I like it. 
You will live a life beyond what your mind could possibly imagine. That's lovely. I like that. Answering your soul's calling is not a one-time thing. Mm -hmm, that's good. Rather, a lifelong dance. Deep down, you already know what you long for, what your soul yearns for. Whatever you were called to do, that is your calling. Don't overthink it. Don't wait for permission. <laughs> Just say yes. Most people are waiting for a step-by-step -step plan before they take the first step. But intuition doesn't work like that. It takes faith and courage to answer the calls of your soul. And that's why most people don't do it. But you are not most people. You are in exactly the right place to answer your calling now. You don't need to know the whole plan. You don't even need to know where it is leading. You just need to take the next step. No one has ever had the complete perfect plan. There is no end destination. There is no right or wrong way to do it and you do not need permission from anyone else. Sometimes the more resistance we have around answering a soul calling, the more important it is to our soul's growth. What is your soul calling you to do? I think there is a massive transition happening, Pisces, and answer the call is the card that came out for you. So I wish you success. I do. Come check out the extended below if you'd like to come along. This is the end of the first half of the reading for you. Have a wonderful space time wherever you are, Pisces, and I will catch you in your next reading. Bye.